Hi, it's Ty from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Mickey Birthday Surprise from 1990. So let's get started. One day, Pluto and Mickey, Kitten, Molly, watched as Mickey busy himself around the kitchen. Mickey set the table. He put a big plate of cookies and another big plate of brownies right in the middle of the table. Then he made a big pitcher of lemonade. We are having guests, Molly thought happily. I wonder who come to visit, thought Pluto. Mickey noticed how Pluto and Minnie, and Molly kept looking at the food on the table. Why don't you two play outside until our guest comes? Mickey suggested. He gently shoot them out the door. Outside, Pluto ran over to the mailbox. Molly Fado. Pluto saw a box sitting beside the mailbox. He sniffed it, but he couldn't tell what was inside. Molly brushed up against it. It didn't feel like much of anything to her. Pluto decided to bring it in to Mickey. Then they would find out what was inside. Pluto bought, him, right, Pluto bought Mickey the box and laid it out at Mickey's feet. Why, thank you, Pluto, Mickey exclaimed. Grandma Duck had note a birthday present to me. Today is my birthday, you know. Then Mickey tore off the wrapping and the ribbon. What fun I'll have with, the, with these. Molly fought as she watched Mickey throw away the paper and ribbon. Then Mickey opened the box. Oh boy, he cried. It's a toy kitten. What a pretty little thing. She is too. And just look at how beautiful, how beautiful shiny color. Mickey saw a little wine, wind up key on the kit inside. Maybe it's a music box, Mickey said as he turned the key. He set the toy down. Sure enough, it began to play a lovely tune. Then, then much to Mickey's surprise, the toy kitten began to dance around the room, around and around it toward, clapping its paws and meowing softly. Isn't that cute, Mickey exclaimed. Pluto wagged its tail, but the toy kitten scared Molly. She arched her back and fluffed out her fur. Then she let out a loud hiss to let the toy know who was boss. Silly Molly, Mickey said. Don't you know that the toy kitten won't hurt you? When the music box stopped, Mickey left the toy kitten on the floor. While he dusted the table and shook out the rug, Pluto forgot about the toy kitten. He went to take a nap. Molly creeped over to the toy. She was curious. She wanted to see it dance again. She gave it a pat, but it would not play. It just fell on its side. Mickey rushed over. He picked up the toy. Be careful, Molly, he said with a frown. This toy is very special, and I don't want it broke. Molly felt sad. She hurried over to where Pluto was napping. She curled up beside him and waited for the guest. In a few minutes, the doorbell rang. Mickey opened the door. Pluto and Molly leaped up from the corner to greet Dono and his nephews. Happy birthday, they sung. Come on in, said Mickey happily. Dono followed Mickey. The nephew stayed behind to play with Pluto and Molly. Pluto found his ball and dropped it at Huey's foot a feet. Dewey and Louie giggled as Molly pounced on the string they had bought her. They was all having a fine time until Dino called out. Hey boys, come come in here. Mickey had a new toy with that. Huey, Dewey, and Louie raced over to play with Mickey toy kitten, leaving Pluto and Molly behind. Daisy and Minnie were the next to arrive. Daisy patted Pluto's head while Minnie picked up the kitten. 
to cuddle. Fump, fump, fump. Wag Pluto tail happily. Purr, purr, purr. Hum, Molly. Suddenly the toy kitten came trailing toward them. How cute, cried Minnie. She quickly sat Molly on the floor. Then she and Daisy went to play with the new toy. When Goofy arrived, Molly and Pluto was happy. Goofy always bring Molly and Pluto good treats to eat. Pluto wagged his tail hap uh, hopefully, but Goofy spotted Mickey's new toy. He headed for the new kitten, forgetting to give Molly and Pluto anything at all. Pluto looked at Molly. Molly looked at Pluto. Their feelings was hurt. We don't need them to play with any anyway. Molly looks seemed to say. Then she danced over to the wastebasket, where Mickey had thrown the wrapping paper and ribbon. Pluto followed. Molly pulled out the ribbon and ran with it. Pluto watched with a puzzling grin as Molly played. Soon Molly was tangled up in the ribbon, and all Pluto could see was Molly's nose, ears, and tail. And that and there was no way Pluto could untangle Molly. Just then, Mickey noticed the crumpled pile of ribbon in Molly. I'll set you free, said Mickey. He gently pulled the ribbon from her paws and threw it away. This time, Molly leave the ribbon alone, and you won't get into trouble. Mickey scored. Molly pretended not to listen to Mickey. She licked her paws as though she hadn't heard a word. After Mickey had gone back to his guest in the toy kitten, Molly went over to Pluto. Let's play something else together, she seemed to say. But Pluto had lost interest in Molly's way of playing. He gave her a little look and went over to join the other. After all, Goofy might be remembered to give Pluto his treat. Molly couldn't believe it. Even her friend Pluto had gone over to the other side. Molly looked around for something else to do. She climbed up on the windowsill and looked outside. To Molly, things seemed more friendlier out there. I know I'm supposed to stay inside, thought Molly, but no one really cared what I'd do anyway. With one last look at Pluto, she was busy watching the toy kitten. Molly jumped down from the still into the backyard. She was gone from the yard in, in a flash. In the meantime, Pula was beginning to get tired of the toy kitten. Tricks, it did, right, it did the same thing over and over again. Never anything new like Molly did. At the height of Molly, Pula looked around. Where would Molly anyway? Pula wondered. He hunt. But he hunted for her in all her favorite places, but he couldn't find her anywhere. Pluto began to worry about Molly. He went over to Mickey and pushed him a bit. He wanted Mickey to know that Molly was missing, but Mickey didn't understand what Pluto was trying to say. He thought Pluto wanted to play with, his, with the new kitten. Sorry, Pluto, you can't play with this kitten. It's a very special toy and it might break. Why don't you go play with Molly instead? Then Mickey turned back to the toy kitten again. It was no use. Pluto knew he could, but Pluto knew he would have to find Molly all on his own. Pluto slipped out of the house. He peeked, well, he perked up his ears and listened very hard. He heard birds, he heard squirts, but he did not hear any kitten sound at all. He peeked his nose between every bush in the yard. He looked and looked, but there was no sign of Molly. She was nowhere to be found. Pluto went into the woods in the back of Mickey's house. The woods had lots of very tall trees. All of a sudden, Pluto's ear perked up again. He thought he heard a soft meow, meow, 
from far away. That sounded like Molly, Pluto thought, so he followed the sound, and the meow got louder and louder. Where he heard a meow meow from above, Pluto looked up. There was Molly. How did Molly get all the way up there, Pluto wondered, and how is she going to get down? It was then Pluto knew he how... Pluto knew he had to get Mickey. I'll be back with help, Pluto barked. Stay right there. He ran as fast as he could to Mickey Mouse. Pluto raced into the house. By this time, all the guests had gone home. Mickey had just put away the leftover birthday cake. When Pluto arrived, Pluto jumped up on Mickey and began to whine. What's wrong, Pluto? Mickey asked. Do you want me to follow you somewhere? Mickey asked. Pluto barked. Yes, he seemed to say. Okay, Pluto, lead the way, Mickey said. Mickey followed and Pluto led him quickly through the woods. When they got to the tree where Molly was stuck, Pluto stared straight up at the top of the tree and barked. Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. Don't worry, little ki kitty. I'll save you, Mickey, called Pluto. You stay here with Molly. I'll be back with a ladder and a drift. In no time at all, Mickey returned with a ladder. And quick at a wink, Mickey hurried up the ladder and gently took Molly in his arms. When they were both safely back on the ground, Pluto gave Molly a great big kiss. Good dog, Pluto Mickey said, and you are a good friend too, a better friend than I have been to you, Molly, today. Molly just gave a tiny meow. She most certainly agrees. When they got back home, Mickey gave Molly a dish of water. He gave Pluto and Molly each a large piece of birthday cake. Then he put the toy kitten on the table for them all to play with later. You know, said Mickey, patting Molly on the head, no toy kitten could ever be as special as you are, and having you safe and sound is the best birthday present ever. And Pluto wagged his tail hard, since his mouth was too full to bark. I agree what he seemed to say. So that was Mickey birthday surprise from 1990. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.